GCSE Maths 2022 Paper 3 Calculator Unofficial Walking Speed. Let's have a look. This is an unofficial marking scheme for GCSE Maths Higher Tier Edexcel Paper 3, which is 13th June 2022 paper. Edexcel accept no responsibility whatsoever for the accuracy of the answers given. The marking scheme is prepared by the feedback from nearly 20 students who has taken the exam today. There may be few minor mistakes in the questions and answers. However, we guaranteed 99% of the answers are correct. Question number one, it was a Pythagoras theorem. The answer is 7.5, two marks question. Question number two, it's a substitution and the B part followed by a change of subject. The answers are given, the two marks and two marks, four mark a question. Question number three, forming an equation, solving an equation and ratio one is to N. In the actual question, it came as a 1 is to P. The correct answer is P equal 1.5. It's a 5 marker question. Question number 4. Percentage decrease and best value for money. So there's a two shops um, given the price and um, which one is the best value for money. Question number 5. Frequency polygon is given. They ask you to identify two mistakes on the diagram. Two marks question. Question number six, average speed. Question number seven, forming an equation, area of a trapezium. So you need to be prove algebraic equation is true. Question number eight is a gradient of a line. Interpret the gradient, what it means by gradient. So the answers are given in the second column. Question number nine, indices. First part is the straightforward indices and second part Someone has done a uh, indices type of question, explain why uh, that person is incorrect and you need to apply the correct power laws. The correct answer is 12 to the power 100 and you need to be reasoning it out. It's a four marker question altogether. Question number 10 is a reverse percentage and depreciation. You need to be apply the formula very correctly. Um, using the reverse uh, percentage option. The correct answer is 24,000. It's a three marker question. Question number 11 is a product rule of counting. Answer is 240 is the correct answer. Those who watched our video yesterday, the video we published for the paper three revising, exactly the same questions we have done, right? It was shirts and jeans, how many different comb combinations, but this question was shirts, jeans, and the jacket, right? So the concept is same. Question number 12, trigonometry, so cut over. The answer is 23.4, straightforward question. And question number 13 is a column vectors. We have done similar questions in our revision guide. The correct answer is minus one and four, three marker. Question number 14, factorizing together with a combined with difference of two squares. The correct answer is uh, 4p minus 3p plus 3. Having said that, there's a B part question, expanding triple brackets. So expanding triple brackets answer is 6m cubed plus 11n squared minus 57m minus 20. Similar triangle two similar triangles is given they have asked you to prove they are similar triangle both similar triangles are inside a circle so you can use a circles theorem state the circle theorem correctly and prove all the three angles are equal to the uh, both triangles to get the similar uh, triangles correct question number 16 is a bounce question straightforward question 17.4 is the correct answer Question number 17, histogram, A part and B part, all together five marker question. The B part is a little bit of a tricky one. First one, they ask you to draw the histogram and the second part is a little bit tricky question. We will explain that in a, a later because this is a unofficial marking scheme only. Question number 18 is a trigonometric 3D diagram, angle between a line and a plane. The correct answer is 30.6. It's a nice question came on question number 19 as a algebraic functions. And question number 20 is um, iterative process, a generic iterative a general process uh, equations is given. So the year one and year two is given. They ask you to predict year three. 
we may explain this question uh, in uh, later today. Question number 21. It's the dependent probability question uh, and a tree diagram. If you like to draw the tree diagram to find the answer, the answer is 11 over 21 or 264 over 504. Question number 22. Simultaneous equation with quadratics. So in the simultaneous equation, there's a linear equation given with the quadratic expression. So if you solve the both equations, you get x answer as a minus 3 or 5.5 and y answer as a minus 11 or 6. That is the correct answer. That is the end of the marking scheme. In case those who are sitting for the A-level mathematics, if you are taking maths as one of your A-level subject, you may connect with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel for the A-level max videos. We are going to be uh, publishing and revising and doing live streaming session from September uh, doing the AS content. If you require one to one private tuition for A-level max, uh, for Edexcel or OCR or AQA board, please contact by email address info at smart-tutors.co.uk. Good luck, all the best and see you later. Bye.